Hey guys, this is Cameron Penner, and welcome to a great new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a platform shooter, but today he's going to be shooting towards the mouse. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our platformer game that we made before, and we're just going to change a few of the controls. Rather than the arrow keys, we're going to use WASD, which is just better for shooter games like this. I'm going to go to my move left, which is A now, and I'm going to add a check. If variable X is greater than mouse underscore x then what we're gonna do is we're going to change the sprite to run speed 0.5 sub image negative one now what I did here for this game is since the guy is always facing the mouse I had an animation of him running and I had an animation of him running backwards. So what you got to do is you got to make sure when he's facing the mouse, he runs towards the mouse, and when he's facing the mouse and he's running backwards, then it changes the animation to that. So we're going to add an else, and we're going to change the sprite to run back. Speed, 0.5, sub-image, negative 1. This should all work. Now we're just going to copy that all and paste it into here. And we're going to set this to smaller than. We're going to add in the end step control. If x is greater than mouse underscore x, then we're going to set image underscore x scale to negative 1. Else, we're going to set the variable image underscore x scale to positive one. What we're going to do is I've added a stand sprite of him just standing. We're going to incorporate that into the game. We're going to add an event key release letters A set the sprite to stand speed zero. We're going to duplicate that to key release letters D. This will make him stop when you let go of the key and that should work. Notice how when I created the guy, he I also set the sprite to stand. Now that should all work. Now we're going to add the gun. And here we go. Object, gun. We're going to choose the sprite, and it looks something like this. Now we're going to add an event, step, end step. So this will be after the guy's moved. Then we're going to jump to object, guy, dot x, and object, guy, dot y say OK now we're also going to control set variable point to point underscore direction x comma y comma mouse underscore x comma mouse underscore y end bracket OK that should work we are now going to set image angle to point that should work and now after that we're going to set the variable image underscore y scale to object underscore guy dot image underscore x scale so now if the guy's flipped left then it flips the sprite upside down and it still points towards the mouse but just flips it upside down so that it matches now so watch what happens now there we go now it just follows the guy there and the animation keeps cycling through so what we're gonna do is for the gun we're going to add event create control set variable image single to zero that should work now we're going to add an event mouse global mouse make sure it's global left pressed now what we're gonna do here is we're going to set the sprite to gun sub image zero speed 1. Now we're also going to add an event other animation end set the sprite to gun sub image 0 speed 0. Now for global left press this is where we want to create the bullet so we're going to add an object and this is going to be our bullet. And we're just going to choose the sprite here and we're going to create an object moving we're going to create the bullet in direction point speed I'm saying 48 I like when my bullets are moving super fast 
or we're going to say relative to x and y values. I like when the bullets are moving really fast and then what I always do is I make the bullet a really long sprite so that the collisions still work. Now for our object bullet we have to add an event, create, go to main one, set the sprite for the transforming angle to direction. You can also just go to control and set variable image underscore angle to direction that works too. Uh, we're also going to add an event collision with block destroy self. Now notice how this guy has no head so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the gun and we are going to call it object head. We're going to change this sprite to head and we're going to just do like this. We can delete that we can delete that and we just want this stuff here we don't need that we're going to go like this for angle we're going to go object underscore gun dot point so now the angle of the head will just match up with the gun and for this we want the head to be a little bit higher up so we're gonna go negative five and for X what we're gonna do is we're gonna do plus object underscore guy dot image underscore x scale and then we're going to just multiply that by 3 and what that'll do is now when the head is in there he'll whichever side you're pointing to it'll offset the head a little bit to that side so that it'll just match up a little bit nicer see that that looks good now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the head up just a tad so that it looks better just I like the head a little bit higher up makes him look stronger Anyways, now we're just missing one thing here, and that is the flash. And that's a very important part of the game. And so we're just going to duplicate the bullet. We're going to call this flash. We're going to change the sprite to the flash. What I did is I just drew a little sprite like that. That should work. And what I did is I set the, the origin to far over on this side so that when it's created we don't have to do any movement to match anything up. Now we're going to set the angle to direction and we're going to delete the collision event with a block. We're going to add an event other animation end destroy self. That should work great. Now for the gun we just need to for the left press we're gonna duplicate this event that creates the bullet. We're gonna set speed to zero and we're going to create a flash and for the flash we're going to set the depth to negative one should work really good there we go and now you'll see the head is a little bit over top of the gun so now what we're going to do is for the gun we're going to set the depth to negative one and for the guy we're going to set the depth to one that's very important because that just levels out all the all the different objects and it puts them in a nice order and also make sure you have a mask for your guy otherwise when your guy flips over here since the origin is here if you move all the way to the right against the wall then flip him over then he'll be stuck in the wall and what you want to do is you want to have a mask that's centered so that if you flip it it doesn't change any collisions that's very important and that will bring us to the end of the tutorial I know I went really fast if you have any questions, just let me know. And if you have ideas for more tutorials that I can put on the internet, tell me because I'd really love to help you guys out. That's why I'm making these tutorials. And I hope you just give me some more ideas and just keep making games. Hope I can help you out more soon, and I'll see you next time.